Mr. Colin, welcome to Hong Kong. Now you have been to both China and Japan for your leadership training. Is there any difference there? I'm actually surprised of how small that difference is. Uh, if you work with CEOs for Chinese companies, they are obsessed with the problems uh, or the challenge of moving their companies from a conventional up-down approach, uh, which is fine for a manufacturing business, into a more networked uh, approach, management approach, which is better for knowledge-based business. And exactly the same uh, challenge I've felt in Japan. Uh, Japanese young people, and I have done seminars with young, pe young people during this uh, visit, Young people are really keen on working at places where uh, they can have freedom to do something, to be creative, to work with their uh, peers and uh, to work with customers, etc. They don't expect to be commanded, they expect to think themselves. And it's exactly the same. So I must say that there aren't any major differences. When you say young people, how young are they? Oh, they were between the age of 18 to 35. And uh, these people have begun their careers, uh, most of them, either they can be studying, but they've begun their careers, and they've realized what a difference there is between employers. Some are the old-fashioned, up, uh, from up to down, uh, top-down approach, while others are creative and wonderful places to work. And frankly speaking, even for Asian young people, uh, money is not everything. They want to work for people, for companies and managers with a with meaning, with a purpose, and with freedom to do their best. Thank you.